Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and we are going to take a quick look at Office 2013 Preview running on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview with a uh, touch-sensitive tablet. So let's check it out. Okay, we're going to start with uh, what I think is the best new Office 2013 app, OneNote MX. And here we see the interface and you can pan like this to see all your notebooks and all your sections and pages. And right now I have the test page open which has a few uh, things that I use to see what kind of support for different OneNote features is available here. So we do have attachments those work fine. We have a table, check boxes, list, everything there works. Uh, this actually does work. That's pretty easy. Let's get back to the test page. Uh, hyperlink, all this stuff works. We got ink even, uh, movies, audio files, clippings, equations, layout is a little different here. But basically everything is supported when it syncs to OneNote MX. Now here's the new cool new interface, this little button over here. So if I tap that, we get all our uh, little options. We can choose to insert a picture from the camera. You can paste stuff, you can do table, bullets, but you'll notice a lot of things are missing like recording the video or screen clippings. Here's a really cool thing, if I just swipe up like that, it's going to paste it. So you don't have to just touch it to see all your options. You can remember where the locations of the commands are and just swipe. There's a paste, there's a paste. So here's a table and we'll see the buttons change a little bit when we're in different areas. So there you have, and if I swipe like that, you see we really easily get some more rows down there in the table. And there's your picture, and we see a different button for the picture, and there's your picture options, not very many. So that's OneNote MX. Uh, we can also tap and hold pages and rearrange them like so. We can put them in a different section, maybe that one. There you go. So there's a lot of functionality here that is a lot better than the OneNote version on uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. However, it does not have all of the functionality of OneNote. So when you need all the high-end features of OneNote, you have to launch the desktop version. So this is it. And it uh, can be used with your finger. There's a full screen button up here kind of small but it'll make a uh, larger area and those three little dots at the middle bring up your normal toolbar. It has all of the features that you need uh, web clippings, video recording, audio recording and do all the normal stuff that you expect for the high-end OneNote version. Next up we have Outlook and we still have the uh, full screen button up here we can get all our buttons appearing right away. There's your view. You can double tap those to shrink them. But full screen brings up everything in one screen with our little dots up there. And instead of being in the middle like OneNote, they are over there in the corner. And all this touch sensitive stuff works pretty nicely. It's a little laggy in the email list, but it's pretty smooth in the email preview until you do the pinch to zoom. Let's, let's see if you can see that. It says tech zoom <laughs> with a percentage instead of just uh, doing it right away, which is kind of weird. So that's Outlook. It works okay. Uh, next we have Access is right here. Not a whole lot has changed functionality wise and we're also missing the full screen button up there. So you really have to use this with all the tools showing. However, you, of course you can collapse them like so and it pretty smooth touch uh, scrolling there. Next is Word and again 
we have very smooth zooming there. And you see it re-renders the text. And this one does have the full screen option. So here we are in reading mode. And it has a, a really nice uh, two-pane layout where we can flip through and read your document. Excel again, we got zooming, works really nicely. And we have the full screen button. So in some ways it can look like a Metro app, but it really is a desktop app. Now we have our taskbar hidden and it's totally full screen. And I can go like this to get back to Windows 8 apps, however you can't use that to switch between desktop apps. You have to use the taskbar down there, which is pretty annoying. Here's Publisher. Not a whole lot has changed. We have a slightly different design. And we have full screen file menu, just like all the other apps. And we do not have the full screen menu button up there. So there's a lot of inconsistencies. And here's PowerPoint where we do have the full screen button. It does not have the little dots. It has a little note that says click here for more commands. So that's Office 2013 Preview on Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, we'll expect some things to change before full release, but you can see so far there's a lot of inconsistencies and since the apps don't run as Metro apps, it's kind of annoying that you can't really switch between them using the normal Windows 8 interface. The exception is OneNote MX, which works really nicely in the Metro tablet mode, and I expect that to be uh, quite a great program. Hopefully you can buy it separately from Office 2013, I'm sure you can. So that's a quick look at Office 2013 Preview on Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.